In this demo, we introduce you to one of the most powerful features in Cloud RF, which is best site analysis, which is up here on the analysis toolbar. When you select this tool, two boxes appear on the map. A tooltip in the top right is telling you to draw a polygon and right click to finish. And we have a slider bar down in the bottom left, which we will use shortly. You may have seen a dialog pop up and recommend the free space path loss model. BSA uh, works by testing hundreds of sites within the area of interest and then grading them all for radio intervisibility. So the prop model is less important than line of sight, which is why diffraction should be off. So pick free space model with diffraction and now we're ready to go and use BSA. You may also want to drop your heights down, so drop uh, the heights down for maximum sensitivity to obstructions. I'm going to test this area in Malvern here. It's on the side of a hill. So this uh, region starts low and these houses go up the side of the steep hill. And the reason we've picked this site is to demonstrate that BSA is not just about topography. So I'm now clicking to draw a boundary around the area of interest. This is the manual way to draw a boundary. You can also import a KML uh, via the import utility at the bottom. Right click to finish and BSA will be calculated. It will run 500 area calculations on the GPU engine for this area and produce a heat map which looks like that. So I use the slider at the bottom here uh, to see the entire heat map and we can see because we've got LiDAR uh, that rooftops are being promoted. The second obvious pattern is that the bottom of the hill is preferable to the top of the hill uh, because of the shape of this. For example, if you were over here, you might not be able to see over there. Whereas if you were down here, you can see both quite clearly. So now that we've got um, our heat map, uh, let's reduce it to make it more useful. So I'm going to grab this slider and pull it up to about 75%. And now we're isolating a couple of key buildings down here. Let's keep going. We'll go up to 90%. And so this is showing me the top 10% of locations. And straight away I can see two buildings there that are clearly tall and offer uh, good real estate for hosting antennas. Uh, but also there's residential and uh, school buildings over to the east here. So if this is not an option for whatever reason, this may be a good second option. So that is best site analysis. Make sure you set up a color key in percent, uh, which covers the range that you want to see. I recommend 95% through to 50%. Uh, that gives you a good uh, dynamic range. And with BSA, uh, you can use this tool for urban planning, but also rural planning to look at topography to cover a wide area and you can even uh, use it for Starlink uh, by setting the receiver height to be very high and then it will show you um, good and bad locations based on a ground terminal.